Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praise and glory and honor to the Most High and His only begotten Son, who we know and believe as Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Abakakwadash. Double on the elder apostles, the great millstone that rule well and that taught me this truth. Peace, love, and blessings also to you, sincere Akim out there, pushing this truth in all sincerity and faith and honesty. And also blessings to you, few sisters out there listening, learning, and believing. I am that fellow servant, Kanak God, coming at you once again with another lesson. And uh, I'll probably, probably title this lesson uh, something to the point of a, um, a real purge near you. All right. Because that's pretty much what's getting ready to happen. And, you know, this whole thing of uh, defunding the, the police, you know, and as we can see here, I'm going to get right into this video. And I'm going to get into some precepts. The situation right here is showing exactly what's going on in America. In, in just this one city of Austin, you can see here the police taking action with billboards, using this to get their message across, stating that if you enter this area, passing the billboards, you're entering an area that puts you at your own risk. Because there's not going to be police there to help you. Since these defunding the police things won't go on, well, there's no police to get paid. And then that means when people come in to rob people and to do all this stuff and the cops get called, no one shows up. So this is also why in this region, the sale of guns have gone through the roof. Ammo through the roof. They also have a secondary sign up that says limited support the next 20 miles. Okay, and these signs were erected after the city council slashed the Austin Police Department's budget in August. So this is what's happening as the dominoes fall. These actions take place on the ground level. So when people in Austin get robbed or in a car wreck, their house is on fire, getting robbed, who knows what. When police do not show up in these instances, they cannot say why. Because it's obvious why. Everything that's happening here, you're letting them defund them. Of course, then they're not going to be there to protect anybody. This is why gun sales are going through the roof. All right. And basically, what you're witnessing is the end of America. Complete anarchy, man. Okay. Let's get some precepts first. It's uh, Second Editors 15, uh, verse 4. Second Editors. It's like a Second Editors 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that the world are in. Woe, destruction, distress, misery. All right? And, you know, and you women, man. Okay? You know, brothers always bring this out. You know, what you, what you going to do in those times, man? Okay, what you gonna do in those times? It says, "For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. In the course of their actions shall stand in their power." Okay, and why is that? It's plain, as you can see. You go into that city in Texas, you at your own risk, man. Police are not going to come, are not are not going to come, man. All right, it's going to be a real life purge out here, man. Then ultimately, what is this is just going to usher in martial law, order out of chaos. Like, oh, it's gotten too out of hand, man. You're going to have these these troops come here and just be cleaning things up, man, shooting people. Sending people to concentration camps, all kind of things, man. So we are at, we are we are in a time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, we are in that time. It's just the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. It says a uh, a man shall desire to go into a city, and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Now listen to this nineteenth verse. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword. As you can see, uh, he said that um, uh, gun sales have went up. 
all right, have shot through the roof, ammunition, all things, okay? So the modern day swords, the gun, the missiles, all that, okay? And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, so usually when this happens, right, you're able to call the police, okay? You're able to call the police and say, hey, I think somebody's breaking into my house. And you had a police there. You know, what? but this whole defunding of the police, this is what you're going to have. These are the real life scenarios you're going to have to deal with, man. Okay? And you women, you're done. Okay? And and you men, that's not men of the Lord, that's not seeking out the Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, you're done too, man. All right? This is this is what's happening. Your beloved America that uh you thought will never see no sorrow. Okay? Uh matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Alright, uh it's Revelation eighteen. The point is at seven, so I'll read through this through this pretty fast. Alright. Um Revelation eighteen verse one. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and and the earth was lightened. With his glory, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, "Babylon the great is fallen, it is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils." And we know this is not talking about ancient Babylon. Okay, so this this is a future prophecy. Okay, in the, in ancient Babylon, you still got people there today. All right, it says, "In in the hole of every foul spirit, in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird." For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Talking about this philosophy, going into the democracy of America, all right, different ways of life. It says, and the, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, because everybody waxed rich off of America. They were able to come here, that merchant city, they were able to come here and sell their goods, so... Especially uh, look at the Saudis, Saudi Arabia, all right? Their whole uh, uh, existence of their power and their wealth, if it wasn't for America, they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't be on that level that they are in, man. Verse 4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues, all right? Because the plagues are coming, man. You can see over there, uh, California, all these wildfires and stuff you had a fire nato i think is what it's called literally a tornado full of fire made out of fire man come on all right for our sins have reached unto heaven and, and the most high remember her iniquities okay so america is that sinful nation reward her even as she rewarded you and double to her double according to her works and the cup which she had filled filled to her double and has ultimately um Going into the the slavery that America has rewarded the children of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, now they can go through the same thing we went through, but double. It says, and this is the point right here. Um, how verse seven, Revelation eighteen and seven, how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously. All right, you Americans live deliciously. Why your your military, the U.S. military. Is over in the Middle East bombing little children, all right, rape, robbing, murdering people of their resources, okay, in everybody's backyard. As I say in the book of Habakkuk 2, neither keep it at home, all right, while your military is over there bringing hell to everybody else, you was over here living deliciously. If something happened, or you see a, you see a so-called black or Hispanic man and you're walking through your neighborhood, yeah, you call the police. Well, it's finna come a time where the, the police is not gonna be uh, accessible, readily accessible by the the flick of three 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 uh keys nine one one. All right, you can call nine one one, and they gonna tell you. They might tell you we'll get to you when we can, but by that time the person already been unbroken your house. And you gotta do what you gotta do. All right. A real life purge, man, is coming to a city near you, man. Okay? It says, How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. Okay? For she saith in her heart, and this is talking about the people. All right? Because the land don't speak. 
of itself, okay? America, the people is what make America. A land is a land by itself, but the people is what make the land, okay? So it says, for she saith in her heart, and that's what you Americans say, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow, all right? But look, now you see in sorrow, you see things will never go back to normal, okay? This is the end of your society. This is the end of you living deliciously. This is the end of you glorifying yourself. Okay? Things are going to get real. Famines, pestilences, all these things are going to come upon you, man. You proud ass Americans. This verse 8 says, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire for stones, the Lord God who judged her. And that's ultimately talking about nuclear missiles being shot upon America, man. And that's coming soon. All right. Um, where am I? Get this one. It's Jeremiah 30, verse 7. And it reads, The last, for well, that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And those are the times that we're in, man. All right. And things are only going to get worse. All right. You finna really see this, these food shortages ramp up, all right? You know, things are going to get bad, man. You ain't going to be able to, you're not going to be able to call the police. So you women out there, that's, man, you women out there, y'all done, man. Y'all are done, all right? Isaiah 32 and 9 says, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. The gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. All right? Because y'all over here in America, all right, you women are at ease. Okay? You 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 provoke a man, you punch him in his face, or you, you push him, or you spit on him. Then when he put his hands on you, you call the cops. Then he goes to jail. Okay. He goes to jail, but you started. You know, you, the vintage scriptures say the vintage shall fail. It's so all the gatherings, your, your makeup, your, your clothes, all that is going to fail, man. Okay. It says, tremble you women that are ease. Be troubled, you careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird up sackcloth upon your loins, man. Okay. So that's the time that's coming. You want you uh, sisters that's believing. And hearkening, all right. Hey, you, hey, Lord's will, you be all right. But for most of these women, you through, man. You through, okay. Um, purge, because this is, this is, the the kind of stuff we're going into right here. All right, this is official purge trailer. I'm gonna play a little bit of this, and then I'm gonna close out. This year, our everyday purchases created adventures right here. saw the movies before you know you know what's coming this is what's coming man till next time i say shalom